Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel Become Doctor. So in today's video we are going to study about endocrine glands. We will study what is endocrine gland, what are endocrine glands and what are the endocrine glands secreting the hormone. We will study about the top 10 endocrine glands and their hormone. What are the hormones secreted by glands like hypothalamus, pituitary gland, anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary. So let's start the video. So endocrine glands. Endocrine glands are the glands which do not have duct or we can say ductless gland which release their substance directly into blood. So these are endocrine glands. Now we will study what are the different endocrine glands and what are the hormones secreted by these glands. So we will study the first endocrine gland is hypothalamus, second anterior pituitary, third posterior pituitary. These both are parts of pituitary gland which is anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary. Then fourth one thyroid gland, fifth adrenal cortex, sixth adrenal medulla, seventh pancreas, eighth parathyroid, ninth testes, tenth ovaries. So now we will study the hormone secreted by all these glands which we discussed just now. Okay, so we will start from hypothalamus. What are the hormones secreted by hypothalamus? So I'll start. The first hormone secreted by hypothalamus are there are all together six hormones which are secreted by hypothalamus. We will start from first. The first one is thyrotropin releasing hormone, which we can also say TRH. The main role of thyrotropin releasing hormone is from hypothalamus. When TRH is released, then it is stimulates TSH for releasing of T4 and T3 from thyroid gland. We will not discuss deeply about the hormones. We will discuss particularly glands and the hormones and in further videos we will go in deep and discuss about particular gland and the secretion of their hormones. So we will start. Second hormone is corticotropin releasing hormone. Third hormone is growth hormone. Fourth hormone is growth hormone inhibitory hormone. Then fifth one is gonadotropin releasing hormone. Then sixth one is dopamine or prolactin inhibiting factor. Okay, so you got that the hormone secreted by hypothalamus. I'll repeat it once more for you. Thyrotropin releasing hormone, corticotropin releasing hormone, growth hormone releasing hormone, growth hormone inhibitory hormone or somatostatin, gonadotropin releasing hormone, dopamine or prolactin inhibiting factors. So now we will jump to second gland which is pituitary gland as i before told you this is in two parts anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary below hypothalamus pituitary gland is located connected by pituitary stalk so now we will study about anterior pituitary hormones the first hormone secreted by anterior pituitary that is growth hormone second tsh that is thyroid stimulating hormone then third acth fourth prolactin Fifth FSH that is follicle stimulating hormone. Sixth LH or luteinizing hormone. Okay. So now we will study about posterior pituitary hormones. So posterior pituitary secretes antidiuretic hormone also called as vasopressin or we can say ADH. Second hormone is oxytocin. So two hormones usually secreted from posterior pituitary. The first one is ADH and second one is oxytocin. Now we will discuss about the fourth which is thyroid. Thyroid secretes thyroxin that is also called as T4 or and also T3. Thyroid usually secretes T4, T3 and calcitonin. I'll tell you from where calcitonin is secreted and from where T4 and T3 is secreted. Usually thyroid consists of two cells that are follicles and parafollicles. Fol below um, follicles there are um, cells present that are called as parafollicles. Parafollicles play a role for secretion of calcitonin for calcium level for that is calcitonin is usually inhibiting the calcium level and by follicles T4 and T3 are secreted the name of T4 also called as thyroxine and T3 called as triiodothyronine so these are the hormones secreted by thyroid gland now we will discuss about adrenal cortex hormone adrenal cortex secretes cortisol and second hormone is aldosterone Sixth adrenal medulla that secretes non norepinephrine and epinephrine. Seventh pancreas. Pancreas consists of alpha cell and beta cell. Alpha cell secretes glucagon and beta cell secretes insulin. As you all know, for diabetes, these both are very important. Parathyroid. Parathyroid secretes parathyroid hormone. That is very important for maintenance of calcium level and also for 
phosphate as you don't know uh, this is very important pth parathyroid hormone it usually maintain the calcium level in body if your calcium level is increased or decrease the main role of pth is maintenance of calcium level also it used to maintain phosphate level also as your body decreased calcium level in your body if there is decreased calcium level then pth will uh, destroy the phosphates as uh, from nephron from urine the phosphate will be removed out if you have calcium level low and more absorption of calcium will be done so for this deeply we will study in parathyroid gland when we will study in future so ninth one is testes testes secretes testosterone as you all know and tenth the last one that is ovaries and that secretes estrogen and progesterone that you all know uh, secreted by ovaries so all together in a nutshell we discuss about endocrine gland we will do a quick uh, uh, quick revision that is endocrine gland or ductless gland secrete their substance directly into blood we discuss about 10 glands that are hypothalamus anterior pituitary posterior pituitary thyroid adrenal cortex adrenal medulla pancreas parathyroid testes and ovaries so i think that you all may understand whatever is taught today whatever we discuss about the endocrine glands so if you like my video then please subscribe also put a thumbs up and don't forget to comment below and tell your problems if you have any kind of doubt or anything else so thank you for today we'll meet soon with a new video with a new topic